Hey there, weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. And as you can see, I have been weaving away on my uh, double width, double weave blanket, and I am almost to the halfway point. But I ran into a couple problems that I thought I would um, show you and show you how I deal with them. So um, I was cleaning out the fuzzies behind the reed um, in between, so uh, these fuzzies accumulate uh, from the reed rubbing on the wool. And it's a good idea to go through and clean them out periodically. So one of the things that I found when I was doing that was one of these um, threads is fairly loose, this one right here. And it probably just didn't get tensioned properly. Um, it happens. Uh, but I need to provide some tension on it um, so that I can continue weaving and it doesn't cause a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I raided my husband's um, stash of fender washers, and this is just a real thin, it doesn't weigh very much. Um, I'll probably have to put two of them, maybe three together, uh, to weight the that one thread, but uh, we'll go back behind the um, heddles and the shafts and find that thread, and then we'll just um, put a string through here and then tie it around the um, that one thread and let it hang and provide some weight. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. So what I've done is I've taken uh, the two, I took two of the fender washers and I put a cord through it. And this is just a mercerized uh, cotton. Um, I wanted it to be slippery to go over the wool. I tied a, a slip knot in it to secure it uh, in case I need to, um, either add or remove weight. I'm thinking that this is plenty of weight, but to put it on the thread, I'll separate the two and then hang this over the thread like that. So let's find our thread. And sometimes it can be a little tricky, but if you, if you kind of separate everything and you can't really see very well what I'm doing, um, but I'm going to pull, push the warp down here, and then I will pull on the thread that is loose, and then I can see it. So I'll grab that thread and then just loop that over, and we're going to slip that down. Now I know that this thread is, I don't really want to get it too crossed over. So I'm going to look and see what shaft it's on. I think it's on eight. All right. So there is, that's fine right there. Okay. So, um, one, you know what? One, would probably be plenty. Yeah, so two is too many. So that's why I did the slip knot. So we'll take this off. And we'll take one of these off. It's going to make a little more challenging because now I need to tie this around the thread, make a loop around the thread. So now that I know how much weight is a good amount, um, I just went ahead and tied a knot in that. I'll find my thread again. There it is. And I will just tie this with an overhand knot. Okay. And I want to make sure I don't get it um, hung up with any of the other uh, threads. Um, so let's go ahead and see. I you can show you 
where it's hanging now. Let's see if we can go over here. So there you can see it is um, hanging and that will provide enough tension and I can continue weaving on. So then I'll show you the second problem that I found. So here is the second problem that I found is I have a broken warp thread. Now, um, <laughs> I thought, okay, well, it came undone. That's to be expected, especially with um, hand spun. But um, I went to look for the other end and I couldn't find it. And I thought, well, that's strange. So I looked underneath. Um, in between the two layers and I can see it hanging down right there the thing is is it goes back quite a ways so if I come back up here and I reach down through there and feel around for it there it is it's all the way back here. So it's all the way back here. So I've been weaving all this with that broken warp thread and didn't even know it. Um, now it's possible that, no, <laughs> it, I've been weaving with a broken warp thread all the way back here. So we're going to, um, put a repair thread in, and uh, that is what I wanted to show you here. So let's go ahead and uh, get you set up so you can watch this. Okay, so here is one of the reasons you should never throw away these cones, is I am going to use this to uh, keep my warp, my repair thread um, wound and also to provide some the weight. So I have two uh, cones that are the same style and I'm going to thread it down through the middle. Grab that. There we go. All right, and then um, I will wrap the end that I pulled through the top, I'll wrap it around um, this cone until I have most of it wound on. Now I wound way more than I needed to on there, but that's okay. All right, so that's about enough. Now I'm gonna take this cone, I'm going to take the two cones and I'm going to nest that top cone over the top. And what that does, it keeps it from unraveling and it also provides a good amount of weight. Um, so now I'm going to take uh, the free end and I'm going to thread it through the heddle um, from the back towards the front and then through the um, reed. So let's get my threading hook. All right, so I'm going to um, take my weight and just toss it back there. Try not to let it fall through the warp, um, just to get it out of my way. Pull my reed forward and then I'm going to thread this through the correct pedal. Um, so it is on number eight and I am not going to take the thread that's already in there out yet. That's just going to, in case something happens, I know where everything is. All right. 
and then we'll bring it through the correct dent on the reed. Okay, now we're going to take, um, so this is a quilter's pin, and it's hard to see. There we go. So this is a quilter's pin. It's nice and long. They're thin. Um, they have a head on them that is, you can... Uh, easily wrap stuff around and will hold. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this pin and pin it back here where, um, beyond where my warp thread, thread broke. So my warp thread broke somewhere um, around here. And if I reach down in here and go fishing for it, I can, so I've got, so there's, there's my warp thread, but there's a whole, it's not connected to anything until way back here. So I want to extend a couple inches past that uh, area that it um, quit weaving into so that I have something to, um, overlap with and unfortunately because this is on shaft eight it means it's on the underside of the blanket it's on the bottom layer so in order to do this uh, best I need to connect my um, my repair thread to the pin and then pin it underneath. So what I'm going to be doing underneath is basically this is where the thread belongs in this general spot. I'm going to come down to about here um, because my my breast beam is right there and I don't think I can get much further down. I'm going to run my pin through and kind of weave it in and out a bit. And I want the head of the pin to be in line with where my repair thread will be. And then I will take and I will figure eight the repair thread around the pin like so, okay? Then when I put tension on the uh, repair thread, it will be in line. It can't move. It's got lots of connection here, and I can continue weaving on. Then when I take the blanket off, I can deal with the repair after then, after I take it off the loom. So we're going to go ahead and do that underneath but it's not going to be very easy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I might do this from the side. All right. So if I come in from the side, I can figure out I'm right about there. So I'll go ahead and put my pin in and I can feel both sides of it and then I'm going to take my repair thread down through the spot in the blanket where it would normally live and then I will attempt to wrap it around. There we go. Okay. So that should be good. Um, I got a good three uh, wraps around it. So now I'm going to um, drop the uh, 
two cones that are, are together and I will drop those over the back beam and we can start weaving again. So I hope you found this helpful and um, that you could use this technique on one of your projects in the future. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and happy weaving!